Hey guys, welcome to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel and uh, in today's video we are going to see that how can we create a bootable media for Windows installation. So without wasting the time, let's start. So first of all, you'll have to uh, download the ISO file for Windows 10 or Windows 11 and uh, I'll show you that how can you download the, the ISO file and for that you just have to go to google.com and uh, then uh, search for Windows 11 ISO download and uh, go to the first link which is from the Microsoft's official website click on download Windows 11 scroll down to the page and uh, click on download now so this is for Windows 11 installation assistant so we are not going to use this we will need the ISO file and uh, as you scroll down through the page you'll be able to see that this is the section from where you can download Windows 11 disk image so select Windows 11 multi edition ISO click on download and then it should show you the options to select language I will be downloading English United States then click on confirm after clicking on confirm you'll see the download link here Windows 11 64 bit download if you click here if you're using any download manager it will be popped up like this or uh, if you're using the browser only for the download this download will begin through the uh, browsers download section so I already have downloaded it that's why I'm not going to download it again I'll click on cancel and uh, then I'll uh, uh, close the browser so now this was the first step where we have downloaded the Windows 11 ISO file now to create a bootable media we will use an application that is called Rufus so for that open the web browser again go to google.com and then search for the application RUFUS Rufus and uh, just press enter so this is the website rufus.ie click on the first link it's the official website of Rufus if you scroll down and look for the download link here is uh, the download link Rufus 3.20 that is the latest version that has been released so click on here and then uh, download the file once it is downloaded you can just open uh, the file click on yes okay great now we can close the web browser we have the Rufus interface opened here so device this is the section where we have to select that which device are we going to use so I already have inserted uh, a USB thumb drive in my computer and uh, that label is USB drive G it's of 32 gigs if I go to this PC here you can see that this is the drive that I have used and uh, its total size is 32 gigs and uh, this is the boot selection option so from here it gives us three options uh, non bootable free DOS or a disk or ISO image so we are going to burn we are going to create a bootable media using the ISO file so I'll just select this option itself and here is the option to select the path that where exactly you have saved the ISO file click on select and then navigate through the folder where you have saved your file the ISO file so I'll go to D drive and in the D drive I have a folder that is called OS ISOs and in this folder I have saved I have downloaded Windows 11 English so I have uh, three ISO files so you can use any of the ISO Windows 7 10 11 Windows Server whatever ISO file which you have which you want to create uh, a bootable media with you can just select that so I'll select Windows 11 English and then click on open after clicking open it will read the ISO file and now it gives us the image option standard Windows installation or Windows to go so the difference between these two is that standard Windows installation this option will be used to install Windows operating system in the hard drive but this option Windows to go so it will be like a USB drive that carries Windows which doesn't need an installation so you can use Windows to go this option to create a USB uh, bootable media which you can use uh, for the recovery purposes for example if the system crashes and if you want to recover the data without installing or without formatting the hard drive you can just boot into the operating system using Windows to go and then you can recover the data so we are going to create a standard Windows installation media so that's why I'll select standard Windows installation now here we have the option partition scheme whether 
do we want to use GPT or whether do we want to use MBR so this MBR master boot record partition is recommended usually because uh, this GPT it is for dynamic hard drives and it's not very secure and also it is used for the hard drive that are more than uh, uh, three or four terabytes in size so just use uh, this uh, MBR option and in MBR target system it should be biased UEFI CSM we do not have to make any changes here leave it as it is if you go to the show advanced drive options it gives us the list USB hard drives and add fixes for old biases for example extra partition align etc and uh, use Rufus MBR with bias ID so we do not have to make any changes just ignore it do not make any changes to these advanced drive options just leave it as it is now here we can rename or we can name our USB thumb drive for example Windows 11 installation media so the name of the installation drive installation media will be this Windows 11 installation media file system we have to use NTFS it's already selected by default and the cluster size is 4096 bytes which is also default and we do not have to make uh, any changes to these settings here if you go show advanced format options it gives us the options to quick format and then create extended label and icon files and check device for bad blocks so uh, this option you can use it for a USB thumb drive which is very old and if you want to check for the disk errors before converting it into an installation media you can check mark this option but uh, I have a new pen drive and I do not uh, want it to be checked for any kind of bad sectors or errors so I'll just leave it as it is and uh, we can just click on hide advanced format options now status is ready we are good to go if I click on start it will ask me to format the thumb drive so make sure that before creating an installation media you need to take the backup of your data from the thumb drive it's if it is blank good if it is not then you can take a backup of the thumb drive in any of the partitions you can save the data in any of uh, the partitions of the computer and then you can proceed further so uh, customize windows installation remove requirements for 4 gb plus ram secure boot and tpm 2.0 so this option is a special option uh, that is uh, specially for Windows 11 because as you guys know that uh, Windows 11 has the limitation that uh, if your device does not have secure boot and uh, TPM 2.0 it's not going to be installed I mean that it's not going to be upgraded if you perform a clean installation it will go through without any problems so yes I want to keep this option check marked and then uh, we do not need uh, these uh, options to be checked you can use it as per your requirement I'm not going to make any changes here I'll just click on OK after clicking on OK it gives us the warning that all the data on the device will be erased so yes I am aware of it and I do have the backup of uh, all the data from the USB thumb drive just click on OK and it will initiate the process to create the bootable media so as you can see that it's now uh, extracting and copying the ISO file into the thumb drive and it will take a few minutes we just have to wait for some time until uh, this process gets completed usually it takes around uh, I think uh, five to six minutes depends on the uh, transfer speed of the USB drive which are using so I just fast forward the video here and uh, we'll see once it is done
Okay, so as you can see that the process has been completed now and uh, we can uh, just uh, click on close here. After clicking on close, uh, we can go to this PC and uh, here you can see that uh, the G drive, it has been renamed as Windows 11 installation media and if I double click on it, you can see that uh, the Windows installation files have been uh, successfully put into the drive by the Rufus tool. So that's it. I believe that uh, you were able to understand the whole process. It was very easy and now you can use your installation media to install Windows in any of the computer which supports USB media installation, USB installation. So that's it for today and before we end the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you liked the video, click on like and uh, share it with your friends who want to know that how to install Windows using an installation media. That will be great help so thank you again for your time and uh, thank you very much for visiting my channel keep supporting and have a good day bye